What's up, Flight Simmers? Pilot83 here. I hope that you're all having a really awesome day. I hope that y'all had a really awesome Thanksgiving as well. We're going to do a tutorial today. In today's video, we're going to do setting up your flight plan and the performance in it and all that good stuff in the FMC and the A330-900. We're going to be using SimBrief a little bit, but I'm going to try to make this very beginner friendly, so we're not going to get into all the crazy stuff of SimBrief, but I will show you ways you can make your flight plan in this plane and get it set up and get you on your way. So let's go ahead and get into the plane. Right now we're on external power. Now before any of this starts, or before we start, you need to be sure that you have your plane IRSs aligned, the IR1, 2, and 3. All right. And once you have those aligned, we're going to go ahead and go over here to our tablet. Go to our sim brief. Now, if you're not sure how to link your sim brief to this tablet, I'll show you how to do it right here. By the way, sim brief is free, but make yourself a sim brief account. Okay, and if you make your sim brief account, come right here to account settings page and sim brief, and you'll see this number right here. That will be the number that you'll put in this box up here. Now, the last flight plan that you generated will be the flight plan that comes right here, your OFP. We'll just click fetch OFP. As soon as you click that, it's going to show up right here. Okay. From that point there, we're going to put that into our plane. So I'm going to click on flight plan right here. Now I went ahead and put my range out a little bit here. We're we'll going to do 80 miles. Okay. Then we're going to go down here to send to CDU. Give it a minute. It's going to start loading in. We're not going to touch anything. On the FMC while it's doing this we're gonna give it a second here but it's gonna start to populate waypoints so you just saw this yellow line pop up here we're about to see more come so you see more coming and like I said we're not gonna do anything until this is completely green when this is completely green it will it means that the flight plan has been fully loaded into the plane now currently with the A330 900 by LBFR when you load in your sim brief, it is not choosing your SIDs or your stars for you. So you're going to have to manually put those in. But I'll show you a real easy way that you could do this from right here in your sim brief plan. You know, it's not going to be any trouble. So we're just going to wait right here for a minute. Okay, so it's turning green up there now. So we're still waiting for this to turn green down here. And you can tell by looking at this here that we don't have a SID from our departure. Okay, so now this is green, so now we have our flight plan. Go to progress, make sure that this says GPS primary in green. If it does not, go ahead and set it, but after the update, this should automatically do it for you. Okay, so we go back to flight plan. Alright. So, like I said, we have no SID. So we come up here to our sim brief. We can see we have this Balt 6D. SID living this airport and we can see it right here so what we could do is is come up here to this click this click departure so our runway so our runway that we chose from our SID plan is runway 06 okay and you'll see that on your SIM brief So I'm going to go to runway 06 because we're where we're going to be taking off from. And from there, we're going to have this list of available SIDs. Now, you might not have the exact one that's there just because Sim Reef kind of has some things sometimes that Sim doesn't have. Sometimes the FMC here does not have all those waypoints. But we can do something that's very close to it. So we can kind of click all these and kind of see what, what options they give us. If I do like the Bolt 7D... So yeah, so if we do like Bolt 7D for example, we can kind of get an insight of what our flight plan is going to look like. We could also go to our VFR.
zoom in so we see right here see how it does that hook around and that's what we're seeing on our Sibri flight plan right here like I said so we're, we're basically checking right now that this makes sense so you see all these change when I click on them on our VFR so that would work as well. I actually kind of like that one better. That's the Balt AE set. So we could choose Balt AE and then we'll go to insert. Okay. And now we need to choose our arrival. So easy enough, we just come right here go to destination same thing go to arrival my flight plan we're going to land on runway 22 the ILS we we'll click the ILS right there we'll see down here that we have the Beno 1R star so we could click down here like up and down on these arrows and we see that we have it right here so we click that and we can come out here and check this there should be a head-on approach for this airport and it is so that's perfect for this so we'll click that go back to our flight plan we now have our SIDs and STARS now in our flight plan. That's from making a simple flight plan on SimBrief. Okay, from there, we need to go to our init page. Okay, so from here, like I said, I'm going to keep this beginner friendly, so I'm not going to get too crazy into it. So, flight number. So, we could make a flight number if we wanted to. It could be whatever. You could make it up. It doesn't really matter what it is. So, I could do something like Papa 0083. Work just fine. We have our cruising altitude and our cost index. I usually just leave my cost index at 5 if I'm not going for realism. Just a good number to be around. I know on my sim brief is calling for 15. This flight here is like an hour in the sky, so I would change this here because I don't want to be at 36,000 feet. Because by the time we get there, we're going to be back descending again. So I could do FL 290. Like I said, and this is your cruising altitude, what you'll be cruising at on your flight. It's already got our temperature already there for us, so we can just hit that right there. It's going to automatically populate that for you. Okay, we can go to next page. Our zero fuel weights, block weight, block fuel weight, and all that. It's going to automatically put all that in there for us. So if you go over here, back to our tablet go over to this so we see our fuel here where's that right now so if we change this so the number now changed 13.2 because of right here 13.164 it rounds it up you see so you don't gotta worry about that it's already got that there for us so that is really good Okay, our performance page once you got that going you can just click next to your V1 your VR and your V2 you can get all those speeds just by clicking right there okay trans altitude so trans altitude you can get that off your airport charts if you're not sure of what it is I normally do 5,000 it's usually a really good number for this if you're not aware of what it is I look at the charts if you're just using SimBrief then this would make a lot of sense to you. 
our takeoff flaps. So I, I usually always open this plane at flaps too. Now this plane has this trim function. If you're not too familiar with it, I don't ever do this to a trim because the plane does auto trim itself. So I just do DN 0 0.1 which would be down trim or you just do 0, 0.0. Okay. Context 15, climb. We can leave all that alone. We can leave that alone. We can leave that alone. Okay, so this would be your approach. Okay, so you normally wouldn't, we normally wouldn't fill this out until we are close to our airport and we're in the area where we can get the weather. And we would get this information from the ATIS. So you get the information from your ATIS from ATC, or you can come over here. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how you would get it, this information that we're trying to put in, in our approach page. Like I said, you would do this when you were in the area because weather it would change. So we could go to our weather up here. LSGG, the IKO for Geneva. Okay, so Q&H of 1018. And actually, if you're new to doing this, you mean you could use this right now. In the sim, for the most part, you're probably going to be okay. With that right there. And we're getting that from right there. This no sig, this means they don't expect any significant difference in weather between now and the time we are supposed to get there. All right. Under that, uh, so we got mag wind. So right here, 270 at 03 knots. So mag would be 270. At 3 knots. Okay, so you see this going on there. Pretty easy. Okay. Now, as we continue on from this point, put our temp. minus one degree Celsius. We got that trans altitude. You would also get this from your from your airport chart, the runway charts for this runway. The trans altitude for this is 5,000 feet. Just like it is here actually. All right, minimum decision altitude also on the chart as you see here. That's 1,565 feet. This airport is pretty high up in the air. Decision height, I normally do 200 feet for minimums. All right, we have our landing speeds. Okay, this here is our go around page. You can set this up if you wanted to. In this in this plane, particularly at the moment, I don't I don't mess with that. Now we can go to our radio navs. We can see our ILS frequency for runway 22, the radio frequency of 108.70. And when you are ready, you could click on your nav here, go to ILS, and it's right there. All right, we could also see the course on that as well that y'all just saw course heading 221 
If we go back to flight plan, we can see the distance we're traveling, 467 nautical miles. We can see yes, made of fuel on board, 50.2. All right, and pretty much from this point here, guys, you are good to go. From this point here, you would go ahead and start setting up your your autopilot panel up here. So we would set our speed to our V2, which would be 166. Turn your flight directors on. Our runaway heading, which our runaway is 06, so this would be 60. Alright, and I got our transition altitude to 5,000 feet up there. And pretty much from the point there, guys, we're pretty much good to go and ready to start pushing back. All right, you would also, of course, have your flaps down and all that good stuff. But all right, I hope this video was helpful for y'all on setting up your flight plan and, and where to find some of this information. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Much love to all y'all. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and the Bucket Squadron channel. It means so much to us. See you guys next time in one of my videos. Much love, guys.